in this slide we discuss the formalization of a concrete computational problem problem formalization is prerequisite to solve a problem with reasonable cost and performance an appropriate problem formalization can significantly influence the cost and performance and conforming problem solving approaches problem formalization is discussed by considering the fusion model of human expert domain knowledge and field data okay so basically two things are required when expert some some expert is there whose previously gained knowledge is important and the field data what the particular parts part, person is experiencing from the field so those two things are required to in order to problem formalization sometime we acquire support from the professional and experts to work on a particular problem sometimes they are ambiguous imprecise and complicated and we experience such a case during planning product inspection preventing maintenance diagnosis and recovery by human sense explicit knowledge proficiency in various industries in this slide we actually define four axes um, to represent and well defined ill defined ill structure and well structure problem so if you basically see at the at this axis we put and well defined problem the opposite to this is an ill defined and the right hand side we have an ill well structure problem and the opposite to this an ill structure so let us discuss one by one so what is the characteristics of an well defined problem so the well defined problem should have a completely specified initial condition okay so based on initial condition only we can proceed with the problem and there must be a clear goal unless we have a clear goal we cannot have a well defined problem now a set of operators for transforming condition suppose we need to transform our condition from a particular uh, case to another one uh, one particular say uh, um, a domain to another domain say so we require a perfect transformation a clearly defined solution path unless we have a solution path we cannot have a well defined problem clear expected limit now uh, limit expected limited number of solution so we should have a limited and uh, limited number of solutions or sometime we have an unique solution okay so that solution number of solution should be a finite basically we take an example here of jigsaw puzzle which we have played in our childhood so if you see that uh, to every jigsaw puzzle uh, it is actually is a part of um, um, some pieces are there if you uh, just accumulate in a proper way you get a complete picture okay so just if you think of jigsaw puzzle each part should be placed in a proper places I, unless if you not place a particular piece in a proper place uh, then you cannot get the picture okay so uh, it's a correct example of a well defined problem so that uh, problem is something which has a particular solution okay sometime it it may have more than one solution but number of solution should be finite and here the case i am telling about that is that should have a unique solution 
now an ill-defined problems so basically it is the opposite of the well-defined problem so in in case of well-defined problem we have clear goal clear solution path and expected solution here we don't have anything clear goal clear so uh, unclear solution path and and expected solutions are, are not there. We cannot expect anything from this. The typical example of this problem is, uh, example of the problem is the problem of overpopulation. See here, we cannot have a specific solution, okay. We may have the several uh, way to reduce the overpopulation, the growth of overpopulation, okay and uh, by controlling the birth of child okay and uh, these are many things that there uh, we cannot have a particular single solution way to execute this problem so next one is a well structured problem so well structured problem is basically it should be entirely defined resolved with certainty okay it should be resolved with a certainty and they have a single correct answer with ultimately availability and they consist of well defined initial and goal state connected by right moves okay basically if you um, see the cases of a login of a computer the a computer can be logged in a particular way only okay you cannot have many ways to log in a computer you have to give a password you have to give a login pin okay there are some uh, steps are there which is prerequisite actually if you do not do that it will not get the locked locked on computer there are monological nature an answer within the single frame of reference with specific set of logical move okay it's a monological monological that means uh, we cannot have the many uh, such logic behind uh, a particular work to be done okay so the example is like using uh, cof uh, using um, making coffee using coffee machines and uh, turning on and login into a computer as i said earlier um, accessing emails so when you want to access your email you have to give the username and password that is the only way okay you cannot expect escape the things so answer within a single frame of reference with specific set of logical moves so the logical moves are nothing but you have to give the username then the password these are all logical moves okay and monological in nature you cannot have the other way to uh, get the access of the email okay now we come to the if structure problem so uh, basically the real world problems are mostly in structure where data are conflicting and inclusive so somebody uh, creates this put and this agreement with the appropriate assumption or theories or values conflict okay so this those disputant may propose a different solution to this problem and uh, each of the solution has a particular strength and weakness okay for example the causes of overpopulation okay it's a basically a complex problem of the society and uh, there is not a single answer that can uh, satisfy somebody's uh, requirement because there are many reasons behind the overpopulation okay one cannot figure out a particular way of population overgrowth there are many ways there are many angles also how to see this problem of overpopulation okay somebody can say poverty somebody can say um, it's a lack of knowledge 
okay lack, lack of knowledge of the society and uh, there are many issues actually if you just uh, think you will get the many such issues okay so in this slide we pictorial represent a problem and the corresponding solution based on initial state and goal state and their intersection is actually intermediate state so here at this state we have to give some specific input from our side in order to achieve the goal state so this is all about the formalization of a complete co concrete computational problem thank you